Okay, I don't know where I left off because I was just talking away, telling a story, and I looked up and my camera was full. So I had to upload everything to my computer and come back. So I don't know if you saw this or not, but I'm going to start all over and I'm going to tell you my story. And while I was away waiting for the upload to happen, I found some more things. I found these scissors that I had for eons. And I pulled them out just to cut stuff. And then, um, what else? Oh, I have these. They're all in black and white. So I thought I would use some of those too. Why not? Right? I do want to get these on here. And I do want to find the other little candy corns to put on here also. Because they have been laying around for years, really. So, anyway. There's Moon. Okay, I know I pulled them out, so I know they're up here somewhere. My desk is unmanageable. I really do. See, every time I move, something falls. Anyway, before my camera cut off, I think I was saying that, I wonder if this would look good on that, so I'm going to put it right there. Should I, or should I do some purple? I was saying that um, there was some kitties next door there was a mama cat and the property is no one lives there it's it's there's like nothing there it's just a lot and there was some kitties there with a mama and there was three kittens maybe i'll use this one and one morning my husband and i were going to work and we saw the mama kitty was had gotten ran over and so the kittens were left on their own and they're not super tiny, but they're still little. They still need their mama. So, um, I took our old uh, dog crate that we had and put blankets in it and put some food dishes in there and you know with water and stuff and I thought well and I put a tarp actually over it so it would keep them warm and they're very skittish they're not friendly at all because they're not socialized so I've been putting food in there and I was hoping one day that I could catch them or you know like when they're all three in there I could sneak up there and close the crate door and have all three of them and then I could like you know try to socialize them and so anyway I three of them went in there I snuck over there and and I closed the door real fast and one got out but there was two more and man those things were so wild they were like bumping their heads up against the crate trying to get out and I kept sticking my hand in there so they wouldn't like get hurt it's like oh my gosh so um two of them were in there and so I just let them in there and I let them stay in there overnight thinking okay they'll go maybe start sleeping in there well the next morning when I came out to feed them to go to work before I went to work one of the two was gone and I didn't see it for a for like a whole day but the other one was in there and so I went to work came back and the other one's still in there and I felt so bad for it that it was just all by its little self so I just let it out but now I feed them but now they're coming it's been about you know about a week that I've been trying to feed them and 
and get them, you know, to trust me. And now they're coming up to the uh, to the grass a little bit more. So I'm putting their food out there for them, and I don't know. Hopefully, I can catch them eventually and get them fixed or neutered, spayed, whatever you call it. And you know, they could they could live here on our property. They just, they'll be outdoor cats because they, I, they're not going to be friendly, I don't think, ever. But they're so cute and I felt so bad for them that they lost their mama and they had no food. And they're so cute. So I'm hoping that, um, I want to edge that, but I got to find something. I'm just hoping that, um, you know, they'll trust me a little bit here pretty soon. And I hope that they come over here to our side of the property and live before people start moving in over there next door. Because I don't, you know, I don't know these people yet. I don't know if they like animals or not, but I don't want them to, like, take the poor kitties and just, you know, some people are nice. They just mean things to animals. So that's what I'm doing. And this morning it was funny because I didn't go out early and feed them. So probably around 10 o'clock we look out the window and they're sitting over on this rocks by this one flower bed I had by the pool. Just kind of waiting like uh, hello <laughs> where's our dinner? Our breakfast, it's like, okay, little kitties getting spoiled. Okay, so I got to fill this in, but I don't know what I'm going to do there. I could put some of this up there, but I don't know if I want to. I guess I could do that and put another spider on there. I watch all these videos where people do these um, glue books and they're just so good at it. They're just fast and and they're talking the whole time. <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't talk and glue at the same time. Help me. Okay, well that fit in there. I don't know what's with those spiders. That's all I got going on is spiders. See, I want to cover that edge up, but I don't want to cover up that one spider either. So. not even using wax paper. I, speaking of wax paper, I bought this wax paper at, um, well, come on, Costco. <laughs> and it is not good wax paper. Everything sticks to it. It sticks to everything. It's horrible wax paper. So now I have all this wax paper. I mean, I can use it to stamp on and collage down, but that's about it. I can't... It, it's not good to put between your pages or anything because everything just sticks to it. Oh, I should rip this out. Because I don't like, oh well, too late. I don't like that straight edge right there, but that's okay. That is okay.
I can see how this is very relaxing. I guess I just have to practice talking and gluing, right? I'm messy, that's for sure. Probably another reason why I don't do live videos, because I make such a mess that I gotta go back and fix things, but oh well. It's all in fun. Patchwork. My patchwork page. Heat gun. That's a lot of glue right there. Today is a beautiful day. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. The trees are starting to turn. It's looking beautiful in Southern Oregon. Pretty soon we're just going to have rain, which is okay because I'm kind of ready for rain. You know, you can always put clothes on when it, you're cold and wet, but there's only so much you can take off when it's super hot. Oh, that's cute. I think that's adorable. I'll probably put some more stuff on it. I have some lace here too that I need to put on and I have some black lace somewhere that I want to incorporate in here. But anyway, so that's the that's the middle of the signatures right there. So when you open it up, you kind of got that. And then that's the first page, which I want to do something with also, but I don't know what. So we're just going to move on to something else.